we as a society have invested uh, enormous sums in creating cutting edge experts in scientific fields like physics and chemistry. Um, these are folks who have the knowledge and skills to go develop technologies that can change the world. Our philosophy around Cyclotron Road is to create an environment where they're empowered and supported to make that happen. One of our first fellows, Ray Weidekamp, came into Cyclotron Road as a world-class scientist with a lot of great ideas, and he came out of the program as a technical leader and entrepreneur who's created a company, Polyspectra, that's poised to change the way we think about manufacturing uh, in this country and beyond. At Polyspectra, we help designers, inventors, and engineers make their ideas real by bringing creative chemistry to 3D printing to help take 3D printing from a prototyping technology to a true additive manufacturing solution. The core alpha resin is, uh, we call it the, the world's most rugged material uh, for 3D printing. And what we mean by rugged is that it has very high toughness and very high working temperature. In grad school, I discovered a much better catalyst uh, for doing the transformation that I was trying to do. The first time that we actually kind of tweaked uh, the chemistry together to get it to work on the 3D printer, and you know, had a 3D printed part in our hands. Uh, I think, yeah, that was definitely kind of this like, oh my God, <laughs> moment. So looking forward from now, we uh, we have you know Core Alpha, our first product that's on the market. We have a lot of customers that are really excited about this new material, and right now we are qualifying Core Alpha for a number of different end-use applications uh, and everything from thinking about making car parts, airplane parts, medical devices, wearables, consumer electronics, kind of everything you can imagine. But I think Ray knew probably within the first two quarters or so of this, of this program that there was commercial potential there. For Ray, I think a lot of the, a lot of the growth came into um, what role did he want to have within the organization and driving that into the marketplace? One of the most challenging aspects uh, of my growth over the last few years has been transitioning from being the individual contributor in lab to being a manager. And I think the program has been helpful to me in titrating <laughs> me into that role a little bit and sort of giving us a home to assemble a small team and try out different management styles. For me, the most valuable part was two years to really, you know, say like, okay, am I really committed? Am I really all in? Uh, you know, do I care enough about bringing this technology to the world? They're firing in all cylinders. They, they've defined the product. They know who their customer is. And it's, it's really cool to see um, what was really just someone coming out of their PhD program with this cool um, idea. Now you see like this business and a product that is really well-defined brand, it's great. If we had never gotten into the Cyclotron Road program, I would absolutely be an assistant professor somewhere freaking out about how to get tenure. And the technology that we're working on, we certainly would not have gotten it to a point where we have people out in the real world that are using and manufacturing goods with it. Cyclotron Road uh, gave us an opportunity to work in uh, Berkeley Lab in world-class facilities such as the Molecular Foundry, uh, as well as with the top scientists in the world. Being in a startup, it's kind of like being an island, and Cyclotron Road is an archipelago that enables us to share ideas and support each other um, outside of just the small group of people working together on our team. Now that we have this program that kind of creates a new path that people can take, some of the best candidates we're finding for Cyclotron Road are amazing scientists who hadn't quite seen themselves in the light of an entrepreneur and they look at some of the fellows who have gone through the program and they say you know what that actually looks like what I want to be doing and so we think we're just kind of scratching the surface on the potential to empower folks to go deliver new technologies to the world.